You know, I'm excited. I think uh, we have a lot of new guys coming in and um, they're blending in. They're getting along really well, uh, showing some good skills, both offensively and defensively. Uh, last year, one of our biggest problems was the inability to finish six on fives. And, you know, this year with uh, Marco Madarash back and then some of the new guys we have coming in, I think we have much more firepower and uh, a lot more finishers out there. Um, so I think that the guys that played a lot of minutes last year are going to find that we can now still earn those six on fives and now we can finish them better too. Well, I think it's the best incoming class we've had in a while. Um, we've got, um, <clears throat> you know, I think there's some surprises and disappointments. Um, we're, you know, we've got a couple guys that didn't come in in real good shape that we were hoping to see more from, and we're going to probably be a month away or maybe six weeks way, way before we see something from them. But then there's a couple guys that came in in great shape. Uh, Chris Dilworth, for example, is a center who. Uh, was able to train with us all summer because of the club rules. He was within the 50 miles and he trained with us all, center, all summer. And the guy's 6'5", 6'6", you know, 240, 250, and um, he's got good hands. So, you know, he's, he's young. He's going to take some working with, but um, it's a really good class, really deep class. And uh, I think that, you know, I'm excited. Well, we're Mostly we're trying to build a good base. Um, so we've been conditioning a lot um, and, and trying to really emphasize that if we're going to compete and beat any of the top four teams that we have to learn to play defense as a team. So, you know, teamwork, building a base, talking about defense, working on defense, and then the last thing is really six on five, five on six. You know, spending a lot of time with that, which we'll do all year long. Um, Getting into a groove where we, we can be successful six on five, we can stop teams five on six, uh, trying to emphasize these guys that every one of those situations in practice, every six on five, every five on six matters. And if we play that way in practice, we're going to play that way in games. We, we've got this weekend, we've just got a uh, tournament down in San Diego where we have two official games against um, Air Force and Davis and then two exhibition games against UCLA and SC. Uh, actually this summer we, we were pretty successful against um, some of the other teams. Uh, SC in particular we had some good success with which we hadn't had in a long, long time. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we're at. UCLA looks real strong, um, but our goal is you know, to try to get back to the NC2A tournament. In order to do that we have to be top three in our conference, which is not going to be easy. Gonna be some teams that we got to beat, but probably our first big real game is um, LMU, which is going to be over at LMU on uh, the 11th, I think. Um, and then we, you know, from there we start getting into the SoCal tournament, the NorCal tournament, and all the tournaments. So it gets pretty hectic after that. Well, you know, I think we have a, a really good group of returners that. Um, saw some great improvement last year in the team going down the stretch. Um, <clears throat> you know, Zach Rhodes in the goal got a good year under his belt. We're going to rely on him to do a lot. Uh, Philippe Marco, the backup goalie, is doing much better. He's improved a lot over the summer and he's going to, I think, play some good minutes too. And then for sure, I mean, uh, Brock is uh, a stud in there. You know, he can go offense and defense and he's going to have to do both. Uh, Luke Huco is the same way. He's going to have to go both ways and, and do a lot for us. Uh, Marco Madarash, who redshirted last year, is, is back and should be one of our, our better players out there. Um, you know, it's, it's really, I mean, I could go down the line and we're going to rely on all those guys. We're not that deep, so all the guys that um, played some good minutes last year are going to play minutes this year and they're going to have to contribute a lot, you know, and we're getting we're getting Beck back from a, an injury this summer where he's going to have to come in and, and be challenged a little bit, so it, it'll be good. Yeah, Merrill, it's great for us to uh, have you know Merrill be coaching here and have the ability for him to get in and for the guys to shoot on, on Merrill. Uh, sometimes you get used to your college goalie and you get used to his strengths and weaknesses and you can take advantage of that and when Merrill gets in there he doesn't have a lot of weaknesses obviously so the guys really have to focus on putting the ball 
in a in a good spot. And I think for us overall as a team, it's it's a great you know advantage.